Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. So this video was requested on a previous YouTube video that I filmed and he asked to see all of my studio equipment. So here we are, I'm gonna literally run through everything that I have that allows me to make my own music and produce my own beats and everything because I do record and produce it all here in my bedroom and I feel like this is a game changer for so many people because not only do you save so much money because studio time is quite expensive, you save so much time because you don't have to travel anywhere and you can literally just start making music whenever you feel like it. And I feel like you can get it to a pretty good quality as well, even while in your bedroom. So anyway, so we're gonna jump into my equipment. So years ago, when I first started recording music, I was trying to record cover songs and I bought myself a blue microphone. I had the red version of the brand called Blue and I would plug it into my iMac. I had an older iMac than this um, and I would plug it into there. It was a USB microphone. Literally, it would just go directly into my old iMac and I would use Logic and I would just record my vocals, record a cover song and then upload it to YouTube. So that's what I did back then. And then a few years later, I upgraded to the Rode microphone. I think it was the NT1A or I can't remember the exact name, but it was the version one of the Rode microphone. And it, I think it comes with a lead and it comes with a mic stand and a pop shield and everything, which I still use to this day. They're what I use right now. Um, yeah, so I got that. And then I also got the Focusrite preamp to plug in the microphone. And I used that for a few years, especially when I wasn't producing my music. Like I had only just started really trying to create my own songs. So like I would songwrite to other beats and work with producers and things like this. So all I needed to do was record my vocals and then just send them off to a producer. So that's what I was using back then. And I feel like these are important because a lot of people are just starting out and they don't have a big budget or anything. I definitely did not have a big budget. So being able to use equipment that's cheap but that's still good quality is so important. So I highly recommend those microphones if you are looking for something that's on a budget and that also comes with other things that you need like a pop shield and stuff. So I was using that and then as time progressed I wanted to start producing my own music and I knew that I needed to upgrade my equipment because when I was recording vocals on the Rode microphone it was picking up so much feedback. I really thought it was like the lead or something. I replaced the lead. I couldn't figure out what it was that was making so much static noise just be in the background. And I didn't have any plugins or anything. Like I was using stock plugins. So it wasn't a plugin. I didn't, I like literally couldn't figure out what it was. And now that I understand how to make music, I now realize I think I just wasn't recording very well. Like I probably had the preamp volume too low and stuff. So it was just picking up all of the floor noise and everything. I think that's basically what it was, but I didn't know that at the time. So lesson learned with that, but I decided to upgrade my equipment and I did a lot of research before I spent any money on this because I did buy things that were quite expensive and I'm going to show you all of them because you wanted to see what I use. But I also want to say that it's not necessary to make good music. I feel like obviously the more expensive um, equipment tends to have better quality, but that's not always the case. Sometimes the cheaper things are actually better quality and better to use. So I feel like it's just whatever works best for you and do a lot of research before you just go and buy something. And one of the videos that I watched before I bought anything was Devon Terrell. He is an American um, music artist like R&B singer and he also produces his own music and stuff and he's very very talented he also makes a lot of um what's it called production videos and he shows you how to produce and I learned basically everything I know from YouTube and especially from his videos so shout out to him because he also filmed a video showing all of his studio equipment where he produces at home by himself and I was really interested to know what he actually uses because his quality was insane and mine was absolutely terrible like I'd only just started learning how to produce and it was shit so I wanted to 
get better equipment. I kind of realized now that actually your skill set is more important than the quality of your equipment and the expense of your equipment. Like actually having the skill set and knowing how to produce is better than having like 10 million plugins but not knowing what to do with them. So really it wasn't down to the equipment. That isn't really what changed the quality of my music. Actually learning how to produce is. So if you have no budget, don't worry about the equipment, you know, buy the basic things that you need and then you'll be able to upgrade it as you go. So the microphone that I upgraded to is the Newman TLM 102. And for me, this microphone is perfect. I don't think I'll ever need to replace it or upgrade it unless it like breaks or something, which, you know, let's hope that that doesn't happen. But it's just such a good microphone. I don't think it's something that I need to upgrade. And I feel like that happens with a lot of equipment. Once you get the good quality stuff, you're sorted, you know, like it could last you the whole lifetime and you not need to replace it unless you really wanted to just have the new thing kind of thing. But yeah, so I have the TLM 102 and I also have upgraded to the Megami, I think that's how you say it, let me just read it, the Megami um, cables because something that Devon Terrell said in his video was that the these cables were really, really good and that cables do matter and I felt like my old cable was causing so much feedback in my microphone. I was like, let me actually just buy these expensive cables and then never have to deal with this problem ever again. But it probably wasn't the cable, so you know. But anyway, we upgraded them. So I have the microphone and then I also have the Chaotica Eyeball, I think it's called. And when I first found this, I was like, oh my God, this is sick because my room, like I'm recording in my bedroom and obviously it has no soundproofing or any kind of treatment. So I wanted something that would literally just cover the whole microphone and really soundproof it and just make it so much better to record. So this was a game changer for me. And then I also have this big... Um, I don't even know what this is called, like the big shield thingy. <laughs> we'll just go with that. And I love this. I can't think who it's by. I need to actually, fuck's sake. It probably would have helped if I had actually looked this up beforehand, wouldn't it? I can't remember who it's by, but I got a lot of my equipment on Anderton. So I will link that in the description box below of the few websites that I've used to be able to buy this equipment because I can't remember what it is. And then on top of that, what else have I got? The preamp that I upgraded to, which I researched so, so much, because as I said, I did watch Devon Terrell's video and he was fully breaking down everything about equipment. And I highly recommend that video. I will link it down below. But he has a Fireface um, preamp and I wanted to get one of them, but the one that he had was discontinued. And he said that it lasted him so many years. So I was like, okay, this sounds like a good brand. I did my research, watched some other videos and everything and read some articles on like comparisons of different preamps. And I went with the UCX, the Fireface UCX. And I really love this preamp. It's so, so good, such good quality. And now my microphone does not have feedback coming into it. So we are saved. <laughs> And as well as getting the preamp, I also wanted to get a monitor station, which I'd never had before. But you know, you see them in the actual studios where they like compress buttons and speak to you through a microphone when you're in the booth and stuff. And I really wanted a little station to control all of my volumes and everything, like my speakers and my headphones and stuff. So I bought the PreSonus monitor station, which I got on Amazon. And I love it. It does what it says on the tin, you know, it's very cool. And then my speakers are the KRK Rocket 5 speakers. I love these speakers. I feel like these are kind of an industry standard. So that's why I went with that brand because almost every producer has tried these <laughs> at some point. So I went for the ones that weren't too expensive. Like they had, I think they went all the way up to eight when I bought them and I was like, let me not break the bank. So I bought the fives, which are perfect. They're really, really good. I don't have a sub speaker yet, a subwoofer, but I do wanna get one because I feel like when you're doing the 808s and stuff, it's really important to be able to hear that sometimes and just check that it sounds good. But I didn't buy that because I ran out of money. I only had a certain amount to spend and yeah. You know, you got to do what you got to do when you're on a budget. So I don't think you have to break the bank and be unrealistic with it. You just buy what you can and then you'll be able to upgrade later on and you'll be able to buy the extra things 
later on as well, especially if you want longevity and this is going to be a lifelong career. It's not something that you need to stress about right now. And then my headphones are the Audio Technica, Audio, Audio Technica, yeah, <laughs> the Audio Technica headphones, which again are kind of an industry standard. And I think I'd used them in a studio before when I used to pay to go to the studio. So I bought them because they are the standard and they are very good headphones. I don't feel like you can go wrong with headphones anyway. And then another thing that I do have, which I don't use as often because I only use it when I'm making the beat. And for me, Recording the vocals and mixing and mastering takes the longest time. So I don't even have it set up. I'm gonna get it set up to show you and I'll insert clips here as well, which is my keyboard. And I love this keyboard. And yeah, it just helps me make my beats, you know, make the little instrumentals, add the drums, all those kind of things. And I also do have the machine. I think that's what it's called, machine. I have that drum machine and um, I've never used it which I know is extremely ridiculous, but I bought it back when I bought everything else. So I had the money for it, decided to buy it and then never used it, which is really tragic, but I will use it and it's gonna last so, so long. So when I eventually move the studio out of my bedroom and I have more space to leave everything up permanently, I'll be able to actually use all of these things properly. But I just get a bit annoyed of constantly having to put things up and take them back down every day, you know? A little bit frustrating when you're in a tight space. I definitely recommend at least a keyboard because the keyboard is, I mean, it's essential in making beats, really. You don't necessarily need the drum machine because you can use the pads on the keyboard to make the drums and stuff, so yeah. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Definitely check out the description box below for everything about me, links to my music, social media, phone number, jewelry brand, one-to-one -one sessions and everything else. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Straight.